John was a successful software engineer who worked for a multinational company. He had a busy and stressful job that required him to travel frequently and meet tight deadlines. He was married to Lisa, a 32-year-old woman who was also a software engineer. They had two children, a 7-year-old boy named Jake and a 5-year-old girl named Lily. They lived in a nice suburban house with a spacious backyard. John loved his family, but he felt that he was missing out on their lives. He rarely had time to spend with them, as he was always working or away on business trips. Lisa felt the same way. She also loved her family, but she was unhappy with her job. She felt that she was not appreciated or respected by her boss and colleagues. She wanted to quit her job and pursue her passion for writing. One day, they decided to have a serious talk about their situation. They realized that they were both unhappy with their current lives, and that they needed a change. They agreed that they should swap roles for a while, so that they could both pursue their dreams and goals. Lisa would quit her job and look for another one that suited her better. John would quit his job too, and become a freelance software developer. He would work from home, while taking care of the house and the kids. The first week of their role swap was a bit chaotic and stressful. John had to learn how to do all the household chores that Lisa used to do, such as cooking, cleaning, laundry, grocery shopping, etc. He had no idea how to do most of them, and he made a lot of mistakes. He burned the food, mixed the colors in the wash, forgot to buy some items on the list, etc. He also had to deal with the kids, who were not used to having him around all the time. They were noisy, messy, and demanding. They wanted his attention, his help, his approval, etc. However, as the weeks went by, John started to get the hang of it. He learned how to cook simple but tasty meals, how to clean efficiently and effectively, how to shop smartly and economically, etc. He also learned how to communicate and bond with the kids better. He discovered their personalities, their interests, their talents, etc. He helped them with their homework, taught them new things, played with them, etc. One day, while John was doing the laundry, he found a dress that belonged to Lisa in the hamper. It was a red floral dress that she wore for a special occasion a few months ago. John remembered how beautiful she looked in it, and how much he admired her. He felt a sudden urge to try it on himself. He thought it would be fun and harmless to see how he looked in it. He took the dress to their bedroom and locked the door. He stripped off his clothes and put on the dress. He looked at himself in the mirror and was surprised by what he saw. He looked like a woman. The dress fit him perfectly, accentuating his curves and hiding his flaws. He felt a strange sensation in his body and mind. He felt feminine and attractive. He decided to complete his look by adding some accessories that he found in Lisa's closet and dresser. He put on a pair of earrings, a necklace, a bracelet, and a ring. He also put on some makeup that he found in Lisa's vanity table. He applied some lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, blush, and eyeshadow. He also put on a wig that Lisa used for Halloween once. It was a long blonde wig that matched his dress. He looked at himself in the mirror again and was amazed by what he saw. He looked like a different person. He looked like a beautiful woman. He felt a wave of emotions in his heart and soul. He felt happy and excited. He decided to take some selfies with his phone and send them to Lisa as a joke. He thought she would find it funny and cute. He posed in different ways in front of the mirror and snapped some pictures. He sent them to Lisa with a message that said, Hey honey, look who's wearing your dress today. Don't I look fabulous? He waited for her reply eagerly. Lisa was at work when she received John's message and pictures. She opened them and was shocked by what she saw. She didn't know how to react or what to say. She felt confused and angry. She replied, What are you doing? John received Lisa's message. He opened them and was disappointed by what he saw. He saw Lisa's angry face. He saw her frowning. He saw her scowling. He saw her glaring. He replied, I'm sorry. I was just trying to have some fun and surprise you. I didn't mean to upset you or disrespect you. I was curious about how it would feel to wear your clothes and accessories. I found it enjoyable and liberating. I don't know why, but I felt a connection with my feminine side. Please don't be mad at me. I love you and I don't want to hurt you. Lisa received John's message and pictures. She opened them and was touched by what he said. She saw his sincere apology. She saw his honest explanation. She saw his genuine expression. She saw his loving eyes. She started to calm down and think rationally. She realized that John was not trying to mock her or betray her. He was just experimenting with something new and different. He was exploring his identity and personality. He was expressing his creativity and individuality. 
She decided to give him a chance and hear him out. She wanted to understand him and support him. She loved him and she didn't want to lose him. She replied, okay, I'm sorry too. I overreacted and judged you too harshly. I was shocked and confused by what I saw. I didn't know what to think or feel. But I'm willing to listen to you and talk to you. Please tell me more about why you did this and how you felt. She waited for his reply patiently. John received Lisa's message and pictures. He opened them and was relieved by what she said. He saw her calm apology. He saw her rational question. He saw her curious face. He saw her supportive smile. He started to feel more confident and comfortable. He realized that Lisa was not trying to reject him or condemn him. She was just surprised and puzzled by what she saw. She wanted to know more about him and his feelings. She was open-minded and compassionate. He decided to tell her everything and share his story. He wanted to explain himself and his motivations. He wanted to express himself and his emotions. He wanted to connect with her and strengthen their relationship. He replied, thank you for being so understanding and kind. I appreciate your willingness to listen and talk. I'll tell you everything from the beginning. He then proceeded to tell her how he became a housewife and started cross-dressing, how he faced the challenges and joys of being a housewife, how he discovered the secrets and surprises of cross-dressing, and how he changed his life for the better. He told her how he learned to cook, clean, and shop, how he dealt with the neighbors and society, how he balanced his work and family life, how he learned to love his new role as a housewife. He told her everything with honesty, passion, and emotion. Lisa listened to him attentively, empathetically, and lovingly. She asked him questions, gave him feedback, shared her opinions, expressed her feelings. They had a long, deep, meaningful conversation. They understood each other better. They respected each other more. They loved each other stronger. John's story is an amazing example of how a man can become a housewife and start cross-dressing, without losing his masculinity or dignity. It shows how a man can explore his femininity and express it in a positive and healthy way. It also shows how a man can improve his relationship with his wife, inspire his children, and accept himself through cross-dressing. John's story is not only amazing, but also inspiring and empowering. It encourages us to be more open-minded and tolerant towards people who are different from us. It also encourages us to be more adventurous and creative in our own lives. It also encourages us to be more authentic and happy in our own selves. We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey, and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.